So now you're in this vehicle with these men amped up on chat and holding AK-47s on you, mm -hmm. and you are thinking what? I think I was actually saying to God, like, I need help. You know, I, I, I need protection. I need strength. I need, <laughs> I need somebody to come and get me out of here. I thought about just opening the door and throwing myself out, but then, you know, they would have stopped and come back and gotten me. What happened next? Then it was just long hours in the desert and this exchange of vehicles and exchange of people and more ammunition and bigger weapons and harsher, you know, language and treatment. And, and then as the sun is going down, the initial abductor, who later told us his name was uh, Ali, from the front, front seat turns with his mobile phone that has a camera on it. And he turns and asks me to move my head out of the way so he can take a picture of the sunset with his mobile phone as we are being driven to whatever our fate is. And I, I thought, I am in some sort of weird parallel universe.